Welcome, graduating class of 2020. My name is Dr. Steve Martinez. I am the superintendent of Twin Rivers Unified School District. I would like now to introduce our board of trustees. Board President, Michelle Rivas. Vice President, Michael Baker. Board Clerk, Bassam Alcara. Trustee, Ramona Landeras. Trustee, Linda Fowler. Trustee, Bob Bastian. And Trustee, Rebecca Sandoval. The most remarkable accomplishments in life are not measured purely by the goals that are reached, recorded, surpassed, or projects completed. They're also measured by the circumstances in which the accomplishment was achieved. This year's graduates not only boast the completion of 13 years of public school, a journey that began in kindergarten, saw them through elementary school, middle school, and four years of high school. Every member of this year's graduating class can boast that they completed this portion of their educational careers under the most unusual circumstances. The decades old tradition of large crowds gathering to watch beloved children, brothers, sisters, and nieces, nephews, and friends accept their diploma is not part of our ceremony today. But what is central in our ceremony are the themes of perseverance, flexibility, and tolerance. The graduates in Twin Rivers class of 2020 can boast to all that they per persevered and stayed the course with their education as the world grappled with a pandemic crisis. The graduates should be praised for their flexibility and willingness to accept their instruction in a new format. Separate from schools, classrooms, and peers during the shelter in place, they adapted to new forms of instruction and learning to complete their senior year. The graduates showed tolerance for change and challenged despite those obstacles, they kept their focus on the goal line. While our school community, families, friends, faculties, and staff do not have the pleasure of being physically with the students to celebrate this victory lap, we do have the privilege of knowing today, we not only bestow a high school diploma to our remarkable young adults, we also celebrate their perseverance, flexibility, and tolerance. Like no graduating class before them, they have the distinct honor of sharing with the world that they achieved a goal under remarkable circumstances. We are proud of you. We're excited to see what, you're, what you do with your future. On behalf of the Twin Rivers Unified School District team of educational professionals and the Board of Trustees, we're honored to have shared your educational journey with you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good afternoon and welcome to the Vista Nueva High School Commencement Ceremony for 2020. I am Bob Wilkerson, Principal of Vista Nueva High School. Board of Trustees, Dr. Martinez, Vista Nueva staff, families, and especially graduates of Class 2020, I want to extend my congratulations for a job well done. It is clear that without the love and support you have given these young men and women, they might not be graduating today. Teachers and staff of Vista Nueva High School, thank you for your encouragement, challenges, and patience in the education of these young men and women. Graduates, in 1969, Paul McCartney of the Beatles wrote a song called The Long and Winding Road. McCartney wrote that song as a metaphor for his own long, winding, and incredible career that he had had to that point when he wrote the song. In the same fashion, some of you have been on that long and winding road as well. There have been highs and lows, times when you wanted to quit, but you didn't. Even though you thought you could go no further, you preserved, persevered, and stayed on that winding road of life. So what does the future hold for you? Will it be college? Will it be military or the work world? You have no crystal ball to know that. You could have, could, who could have known that on March 13th, 2020, that it would be the last day you would enter a high school classroom and that you would be finishing your high school career doing all your work online and at home. What has happened this year will change what we will see for the whole country in the coming years. As did my uncle's graduating class of 1948, shortly after the end of World War II. In his address to his fellow classmates, he talked to them about how they would become the purveyors of atomic energy, something they never even dreamed of when they entered high school. 
as they pondered their future, you now must look at yours. So what does your future have in store for you? Only time will tell. One thing is for sure, it will take hard work on your part. Your dreams and your aspirations will take work. As General Colin Powell once said, a dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes determination and hard work. Graduates, the road ahead will be one of many challenges. As you may be asked to or required to change your long and winding road, so as you write your plan for life, make sure that you do it in pencil so that you can make those changes and meet the challenges head on with success. The world is an ever-changing place, as you have seen this year already in your short lifetime. Whether you know it or not, or believe it, you have the power to make the world a better place. The question is, do you want to be the per that person that can make it happen? My challenge to each one of you and to myself is to do all that you, we can do to reach our full potential in life and make it better for ourselves and others. Stay the course on the long and winding road and be that success story that you dreamed about. And finally, I would like to recognize 10 students that the Vista and Nueva staff have recognized as outstanding students. Ale uh, Alessandra Cabrera, Cassidy Green, Hurricane Jones, Mua Kavaka, Alyssa Kral, Fatima Medina, Destiny Reagan, Christopher Speary, Trevor Veach, Devontae Wright. Congratulations to all of you for a job well done. Graduates of Class 2020, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of our national anthem. The national anthem will be sung by Cassidy Green. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave ladies and gentlemen it is with great honor that i introduce one of our two student speakers today, Alessandra Cabrera. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. We did it. We all accomplished one of the most important duties of our lives, our high school graduation. This is a bigger step to a new journey of our lives, one that should be recognized for our hard work and determination. You should stay committed and motivated. <coughs> when you stay committed and motivated, you will always have a good ending to a new beginning. We all worked hard to get to this day, and our work did not go to waste. A high school diploma is one of the best things you can earn for yourself, one that opens opportunities for any, anyone who is lucky enough to have one. It took me so much to get where I am today. I would have never thought I would have earned a high school diploma not taking my education seriously and struggling in academics. I, will, I always thought to myself I, that I'd never make it and would always be a failure. But when when I got sent to Vista Nueva, I finally got the greatest motivation from one of the greatest teachers, Miss Richards. Miss Richards always fought for her students as if they were her own kids and to do good for the greater things in life. She always said, when they say for the best man to stand up, you stand up with them. Those were the words she was taught by her father and she, what she still stands 
by till this day. I thank her very much for never giving up on me <coughs> and because for because of her I will continue to keep myself motivated. I would also like to thank my parents for raising me to do good in life. I thank my mom the most for never letting me fall. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't be the young lady I am today. I've always listened to her stories and her telling me to do better than she was as a teen. All of all she ever asked for was for her kids to have a good education with the high school diploma. I'm happy to say I did it, Mom. Finally, I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great honor that I now introduce Hurricane Jones. Good morning, everyone. Class of 2020, we have come a long way to get to this, this one amazing moment in life. Even though we don't get to be with one another because of the soon-to-be-gone pandemic that we are handling very well, by the way, to simply remind ourselves that making it as individuals is us making it together. Today, we are taking the next step of becoming successful human beings in this world that isn't so great all the time. It is what you make it, though. I am so proud of each and every one of you for getting through it and surviving the apocalypse, AKA high school. When freshman year started, I thought it was over. It was like keeping up with the Kardashians, but everyone trying to be Kim and have a boo thing like Kanye, LOL. But I still managed. And as I got to 11th grade, things got serious and complicated. So I had to remind myself why I was here. As 12th grade started, I arrived at Vista Nueva High School with a lack of confidence and couldn't see myself getting the right amount of credits that I needed. I thought I wouldn't even see the big day. I lost hope. One month in this small school, I started realizing that it may be small, but it's one of the schools with the biggest hearts, that people actually care about you, not only as a student, but as a human being too. I wanna take this time to thank the brilliant and phenomenal teachers and staff for believing in us and helping us to believe in ourselves. We do matter that we are somebody to not give up. So I leave you with this. You are the creator of your reality. You don't like something about negative about yourself? Change it. You mess up, do better. Love your incredible self. You are magic, unstoppable, capable of creating everything you desire, capable of being loved and happy, worthy daily. You got this. But remember, the energy you put into the universe comes back to you. Be, feel, think positively, consider your words before you speak life will then start molding how you want it to be. Good work, everyone. Let's turn the page and start our new chapter. Dulce Acosta. Leilani Adams. Robert Anderson. Grant Austin. Anthony Bellarmino Eugene Brooks Anthony Broussard Alessandra Cabrera Constance Enrique Ropati Faalo Goifo Lacey Forrest Lorenzo Garcia Minor Gonzalez Mateo Anthony Grandberry Cassidy Green Leander Green Daquan Hightower Hurricane Jones Muali Oagia Kauvaka Alyssa Crawl Andy Lau Zayana Lawson Cheyenne Martinez Seifan 
Aureli Mendez Gonzalez, Melissa Montez, Alex Nix, Antoine Patton, Matthew Paval. Destiny Reagan, Ivan Rios, Christopher Sperry, Ivan Tafoya, Sheena Tao. Trevor Veach, Devante Wright. By the power vested in me by the state of California and the Twin Rivers Unified School Board of Trustees, I hereby declare that all of the students present have completed the graduation requirements of the state of California for a high school diploma or have completed the requirements for a certificate of completion. Graduates, please turn your tassels to signify that you are now officially graduates. Class of 2020, congratulations to each one of you.